Hey guys, and a very warm welcome to Axing Anxiety in 10 with Dr. M from the Pinnacle Practice, Harley Street, London, Nottingham, and on location, working in association with my brilliant colleague, Dr. Niall Mack, and the guys over in Galway Island at the Doc Check and Book Hub Publishing. Welcome to our third vlog, where we're going to be talking about um, building your support and your mental health during this period of uncertainty, again, still in the corona crisis. So um, five top tips in 10 minutes or so um, that I'm going to run through with you. So these are going to include one, um, developing a positive um, social network um, and who you're actually around and why that's so important. Um, the second one is going to be about minimising the amount of news and media that you're actually exposed to and all the scary su suggestibility and what that can actually, actually do to your mind and your mental health. The third one is about, and this is a scary one for most people, a digital detox um, and how actually you can do that and start it. The fourth one is about positive affirmations, the language that you use and exchanging certain words and how this can actually make a difference um, to your mind and actually how you feel. And now the fifth one, and this is really important, is about self-respect personal development and creating wisdom through that which makes an enormous difference to your mental health keeping you positive with a great mindset so once again let's get going with our first tip that we're going to be talking about um, and this is building a positive social network so sometimes i've been on social media just scouting about or um, you get things pop through and i've seen some of the um, tweets that go out some of the posts that are put out um, about anxiety and people that do suffer from it and it can actually cause quite a negative um, influential network. So it almost can become competitive in terms of how anxious one person can get. Um, so as we get what we focus on, as we talked about in the other blogs, um, or vlogs again, um, that can be a real problem because we're focusing on anxiety and focusing on how bad things can feel. So that's not really particularly helpful. So it's about um, getting a nice social network where you can actually feel positive, talk about things that take you out of how you might be feeling in a negative context. So one way to really do this is actually to ask yourself within your social network, if you had to um, choose one person out of your social network, who you had to be and who you had to live their life. So you've only got one option. Is there someone you would choose within your circle? So basically, do you have a positive influence of someone you would want to be um, and someone you look up to within your network? Now, if the answer is no, that's fine. You don't have to cut off your friends, but it's really important you actually go and find somebody who is like that, who you do want to be, because we become the people and our environment that we are surrounded by. Um, that's nature. So it's important that you really do get that um, good social network, that real nurturing and that fulfillment. So you actually feel nourished by the people that you're around um, and they can help to take you forward and so that you just feel more positive energy because um, anybody we're around and if there's a mass um, group that you hang about with, if they're all negative and talk about negative things, it actually generates more negative energy. So because like attracts like on a deep core level, if you're around negativity, you'll attract negativity. And I'm sure you've heard the expression before, negativity breeds. Well, it does, like wildfire. So it's really important you build up your social network with um, positive, relaxed calming influences um, that you can look up to and that will just give you again that positive and um, feel good energy also sign up to things i have um myself a positive philosophy um, people sign up to so uh, newsletters launch invites all sorts of positive things and um, great things people are doing can be circulated but there are tons of stuff out there that you can sign up to that give you um positive messages even um dr niall if you follow him on twitter puts out tons of positive things um every day and he does a great job maintaining and keeping up with that as i always say but um, it's a real good feel good factor so that's again something you can look into doing and, and the right people to follow there so number two our next anxiety hack here is about minimizing the amount of news you watch and how much you're exposed to general mainstream media now this is because we can all be very suggestible um, in terms of something somebody is saying can make you feel a certain way so certainly if i do happen to put the news on it can be a real sinkhole of negativity and it can feel quite negative afterwards after watching it so i actually don't watch the news i have um alerts come through on my phone so if something's really important i'm aware of it but i'm not engrossed and i'm not totally focused and absorbed in it because that can really change 
change your state. And especially at the moment during this corona crisis, um, it's very much doom and gloom sometimes when you put the media on. Yes, there are the odd positive story, but generally as a whole, it's constantly drip feeding you constantly on a loop, negative information. And that's going in your mind. It's causing panic. It causes the anxiety. It starts releasing all those negative hormones again in your mind. So it really doesn't... Um, help matters and again like attracts like so the more negative you're watching something the more it will be absorbed by you so uh, as much as you can not watch the news and just have alerts on your phone is absolutely critical as far as i'm concerned but it does make a massive difference so you go on about in your own bubble like we said in vlog two creating a nice routine for yourself a nice schedule that's really helpful rather than indulging in any negativity and you focus on what you can do and what's positive in your life rather than too much of suggestion from other people which may not always be too good especially when it comes to the news so that's certainly one to watch now the third uh, anxiety hack here is about a digital detox and that's because um, it's good anyway just to um, be able to reconnect with nature and just put your phone down for a little bit however because at the moment we're so much on the screens constantly um, it's really important if you can take a day out to actually come off your phone um, and just leave it so you can have that digital detox to realign with nature with your family and um, with what's really important and um, so even doing more creative things again like in vlog two on the last point we talked about all the creative things you can do get outside even look at what materials you can build to uh, you can use to build a tree house etc and um, so all those things you can do that aren't online basically um, is really good for you now how to do that one might be useful probably to hide your phone and um, to tell people what you're doing put on your status digital detox and um, or put auto responders out or just get in touch with people to let them know what you're doing so they don't think you'll be you're ignoring them um no ghosting going on or um you know that they don't worry about you so um they know essentially what you're doing so you don't have to worry about that you have no panic they have no panic now another important thing when you're doing a digital detox is to actually do things for yourself so rather than the validation of everybody else on social media great um, you look brilliant your food looks great you know whatever else you're putting out there um do things for you because cook something nice that's nicely presented because you like to eat something nice and that's nicely presented look nice for yourself because you want to look nice you want to feel good so start to embrace doing things for you and your own self-worth rather than um the approval of everyone on social media or just having to um put things out there all the time you can catch up with it later in the week it's just 24 hours set yourself the challenge do a digital detox and realign with nature. So, you know, there's um, even a client of mine recently did a fantastic thing and adopted a dog from Dro Dogs Trust. And there are always so many dogs that need rescuing. So I know at the moment, Dogs Trust are actually doing something online where they're rehoming dogs. So that's something you can do that's... Um, offline to be able to take the dog out and um, get you out more in nature and it's also fun as well to play with a pet um, you can do all kinds of things go out appreciate the scents out there the nice smell of blossom at the moment um, the light the sounds of the birds um, I know they're always tweeting where I live so um, when you actually home in on it and you focus on that it's a lovely sound that really brings down any anxiety and just allows you to feel free easy and really at one with nature so Digital detox, guys, ditch the phone for 24 hours and just realign with nature and um, your family there, go out, play games, do, you know, be creative. Um, so something different there. And that just helps to reduce anxiety. Um, and again, it's a distraction as, as well. So um, digital detox. Now, our fourth one is about positive affirmations and the language that you use. Now, if you don't know what an affirmation is, it's just simply um, a mantra or a saying. It's something short and sweet that you would keep repeating to yourself. Uh, and this is giving your own self positive suggestion so ditch that news ditch that negative um suggestion start with your own positive suggestion so for example you could start by saying something several times a day to yourself or how i mean how, however many times you like if something like i can do anything or i'm powerful i'm fit intelligent and healthy so I'm powerful and fit, intelligent and healthy. And you get used to these words and just keep repeating them as a pattern throughout the day to yourself. And then they go in and you absorb them and they go into your neurology. And as a mind affects the body, something I can never stress enough, it also affects your behavior and your feelings. Um, and again, starts reducing that anxiety because we become what we believe. So you need to start getting those words. So they're not just words. They actually become a part of your belief system and they will. And it starts off by using the um, right language and changing your language. So this leads me on to the word exchange. And this is something I talk about in the book as well. I, I actually have a table. Um, so there's a table of what I call negative words and then a at the side of it, all the positive 
alternatives you can use. So, for example, people often say they have a problem and the problem drags them down and it's um, very much draining. If you think about I have a problem, um, it's not very solutions focused. Alternative, alternatively, if you use the word um, challenge instead, so instead of I have a problem, I have a challenge because challenge implies that it's something you can get over, something that's not insurmountable. It's something that you can look to find solutions for. And that's just one small example. Another negative word, really, um, you could take something like I have anxiety and anxiety is really um, awful and it churns me up inside and I can't do anything because I can't think. Um, so you can see how the word anxious and anxiety has a really negative connotation to it. When actually, if instead you say, I feel a little bit um, conscientious today that I need to, my mind's telling me to focus on something. So whether that something is something really deep and really serious that you need to work on, or whether it's something that you just need to change your focus around with all the tools and techniques that we talk about, it doesn't matter. It's You're feeding into your mind that anxiety is literally just a feedback mechanism. It's your body saying, hey, I need to focus because my mind is telling me um, I need to protect myself, I need to do something about something. It's simply your mind telling you that you need to address something. So um, anxiety doesn't have to be awful, doesn't have to be a problem because anxiety is actually and always will be a good thing because it's your mind working right, it's telling you that you just need to do something. Now, anxiety symptoms physically in, experienced in the body um, induced from chemicals the brain sends from feeling that anxiety are horrible. So don't get me wrong there, guys. I'm not saying the anxiety symptoms are good and great and yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm just saying that the anxiety symptoms that you can feel, yes, they are harrowing and horrible. However, once you acknowledge anxiety itself, it's actually a good thing and just your alert radar saying, hey, I just need to focus. It's kind of come tapping um, to say, please address me. I need to um, sort this out. And you do. It's just a conscientiousness. You can start thinking very differently about it and you start becoming solutions focused about it, which is a great thing and it is really what we want to dilute those horrible, harrowing symptoms okay so you can do that by these positive affirmations so um design ones that are easy for you to repeat and words that you like words that give you joy what do you want to be um, i know most of us want to be fit healthy intelligent well so that's a good one to um use as a pattern so i am fit healthy intelligent well or i am i can do everything is like we said a very nice one but i am the light i am energy that's one i usually use i am the light and i can feel and i can see just a beam of light running through me so it's almost like a two second meditation and you can feel the light radiating out from you and running throughout your whole body which is very like a quick meditation because it makes you feel calm and you can feel the brightness and it can unblock any energy and at the moment, I am literally the light as I've gone back to my natural blonde colour. So no jokes with that one. Um, but you get my message. So design ones you like and things that make you feel really good. OK, now we are on the um, fifth one. A fifth anxiety hack which is about self-respect and self-personal development and um, so you can actually create wisdom so this is really important because it actually um, validates the anxiety that you've had so um, you don't have to have any regrets if you've lived an anxious life so far um, but what's great is an acknowledgement that you can now let it go and the way that you do that is working on personal development and working on yourself and now is the time to really do that my book takes you through everything to do it so you can get to roots and um, because without working with you personally I can't help you get to those particular um, roots but once you do rip them out um, and you um, can take the positive learnings from them how how has your anxiety helped you to become the person you are and you're going to be learning to love the person that you are now if you remember about your grounding card in blog two so once you can take the positive learnings from whatever's happened to you whatever the deep roots of anxiety are then they become wisdom because they become pearls of knowledge because you've got the positive learnings and you've got the positive resources from them and what's happened so that's really important and then you can take that wisdom to move forward in life and get all the things that you want um, so use that you can also access the free resource um, from my book on the website out of your comfort zone uk um, because there's a free zone test there and the series of questions that you work through with that to find out your current comfort zone level will also help you to determine certain psychological and emotional roots as well that can help you maybe point towards um, your anxiety but also soon um, i'll be having the anxiety um, analysis indicator i've done that will also be made available free online and that really does help you to dig to the roots of what may be called 
causing your anxiety because there are lots of reasons for it um, so it really explains all that and it helps you to get to the bottom of it now another one here is about self-respect so again we talked about getting up getting ready um, and it's really a, this is about um, self-pampering giving yourself the time and the care that you need and you deserve so for example eating healthy getting out doing some yoga um, going out doing any activity because it generates those endorphins and basically giving yourself the green card to say hey actually I've done enough study now I can have some relaxation time and being able to give yourself um, that indulgent time to either go and pamper yourself go and buy yourself something nice um, new clothes perhaps some new music um, new makeup whatever you like a uh, new video game now they're encouraging you to go and do that one but um it's something that you do enjoy and it is going to give you that little bit of indulgence even if it's only a bit of time you spend doing it it's important to have quality self time um that you can enjoy um, because it's that self-respect and it's it's dressing nicely for you it's um getting ready for you rather than other people all the time so there's a lot of things running into each other here um but they're all very key and very central to how you develop personally and how you can dilute that anxiety so very quickly running back through the five we've got um positive social network incredibly important because you become your environment and the people around you so pick positive people to be around um, number two is the no news very important no negative suggestion keep in a positive bubble with awareness but your own positive bubble will work because um, negativity breeds we've got the digital detox so lock your phone away um, we've got positive affirmations that you can design uh, and the word exchange that you can start thinking about so rather than uh, negative words you can replace them with positive words so have a think about your language and start to pay more attention to it there the language that you use and what positive replacement words you can use instead makes a big difference in terms of getting more of a um, positive forward focus mindset rather than on anything that might be holding you back or slightly more negative um, and the fifth one we've got self-respect personal development and creating wisdom okay guys so that's it for today um, and i look forward to seeing you in our next vlog